Welcome, amazing friends. And you're going to learn how to solve this beautiful equation. It's just so easy, okay? Now, when you look at this by inspection, you can easily say that your x is 3. I know you already have that in mind because when you have x as 3, you put it there, it gives you 2 to the power of 3 plus this x is 3. And 2 to the power of 3 is 2 multiplied 3 times. And when you do that, it gives you 8. And 8 at 3 gives you 11. You are right. But we are going to show how this 3 came about. And don't forget to stay true because you are going to learn a lot. And don't forget to also tell us how it helps you in the comment section. Now, to solve this, we have seen that our x is 3. So we are going to solve this to get that x as 3. Let's do this together. So we're going to begin this with solution. Now, what do we do? This is what we have. So we're going to repeat it. We have 2 to the power of x plus x is equal to 11. So what do you do next? We are going to move this to the right side. And because it's addition, you are going to subtract. So we're going to have 2 to the power of x is equal to 11 minus x. Interesting. Now, what you do next is we are going to divide both sides by this. So we divide by 2 to the power of x and also divide this by 2 to the power of x. Interesting. And when you do that, you are going to have, let's take it to this part. So this is giving us when the number divides itself, you know it's 1. So this device, we are going to have 1 is equal to 11 minus x divided by 2 to the power of x. Amazing. So you can also rewrite this to be 11 minus x divided by 2 to the power of x is equal to 1. Now remember, this is also the same as 11 minus x multiplied by 1 over 2 to the power of x. You have not changed anything because if you make this to be over 1, when you multiply the numerator, it gives you back this. And when this multiply, it gives you back this. So putting this in this form has not changed anything yet. So what do we do? It's just to help us with what we want to do. Okay? So also remember in your exponential that when you have 1 over a to the power of n, it is always a raised to the power of negative n. So this is going to help us to simplify this. And if we apply that, we have 11 minus x will be multiplied by obeying this. We are going to have 2 to the power of negative x is equal to 11. So we keep simplifying this. But at this point, I just want you to remember something very important that whenever you have a e to the power of a, whenever you have a function of this form, you can easily introduce your Lambert W function. And when you introduce that, it means that this will be equal to a. You observe that the coefficient of this e is the same as the power. So this, when you introduce the Lambert, it gives you a. This is going to help us to solve this question. But carefully observe that what we have here should be e, but what we have is 2. And the power and the quotient are not yet the same. Don't worry, I'm going to teach you how to make them the same. And don't forget to like this video. Let's continue. Now, to put this in this form to apply the Lambert W function, you observe that since this is 2 to the power of negative x, what we are going to do is we are going to multiply both sides, okay? Multiply both sides by 2 to the power of 11 because the number we have here is 11. Keep engaging, you will see why. So if you do that, you are going to have 11 minus x multiplied by 2 to the power of negative x, then multiplied by 2 to the power of 11. Did you see? Is equal to 1 multiplied by 2 to the power of 11. Interesting. Now, what do you do next? Remember, for every time you have a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n, it gives you a to the power of m plus n. This is your exponential rule. So applying it here to simplify, we have 11 minus x 
Now, these are the same base, so you add the power. So you are going to have 2 to the power of negative x, okay? Negative x plus 11 is equal to multiply this to have 2 to the power of 11. Interesting. Now, this can also be written as 11 minus x multiplied by 2 to the power of 11 minus x is equal to 2 to the power of 11. Now, what did you observe? You observed that the power and the coefficient are the same. But remember, like we said, if we are to use the Lambert W function, what you will have here is E and not 2. So we're going to remove this. We're going to put this in this form. And to do that, quickly remember that for each time you have E to the power of ln of A, it is equal to A. Now, we are going to apply this here, only on this, okay? So if you do that, we have L, 11 minus x, okay, multiplied by this we now have, we have e to the power of ln of, our a will now be 2 to the power of 11 minus x. Did you see that? Is equal to 2 to the power of 11. This has not changed anything because we have seen that this is our A, okay? So it will give you back this, so it's not changed anything. So what do you do next? Remember, for each time you have ln of A to the power of X, your logarithm rules, it is always equal to X ln of A. Now we're going to apply this on this. So we're going to now have 11 minus X, this power, according to this, we multiply the ln. So we're going to have e to the power of 11 minus x, okay? Then we have ln of 2. Did you see that? It's equal to 2 to the power of 11. You have observed that the power is no longer the same with the coefficient, having made this to be a. So what do you think we should do next? For you to make this power and this coefficient to be the same, you just simply need to multiply both sides by ln of 2. And to do that, see what we have. Multiplying both sides by ln. So we have multiply both sides by ln of 2. So if you do that, you are going to have 11 minus x. Okay, so we have, we be multiplied by ln of 2. Then we have e to the power of 11 minus x ln of 2 is equal to, you also multiply the right side. So you have ln of 2 is multiplied by 2 to the power of 11. Interesting. So what did you observe? You have observed that this power and this coefficient of e are the same. But you can also do a little touch on this right side. Just keep engaging to see what we have. That is the interesting part I wouldn't want you to miss. And don't forget to share this so that others will learn with you. Let's keep doing this. Now observe that this two to the power of 11, see what we are going to do. So let's repeat what we have. So we have 11 minus x ln of two to the multiplied by e to the power of 11 minus x ln of two is equal to now, this 2 to the power of 11, we can split it. So to have ln of 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by 2 to the power of 8. You know too well that since the basis are the same, if you add these two powers, it gives you back 11. So you've not changed anything. Now, what do we do? Just keep engaging. So we have 11 minus x ln of 2, okay, e to the power of 11 minus x ln of 2 is equal to ln of 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 3 is the same as 2 multiplied 3 times and that will give you 8 multiplied by 2 to the power of 8. Interesting. So what do we do? This is the same as 11 minus x ln of 2 e to the power of 11 minus x ln of 2 is equal to 8 ln of 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 8. Now, this 2 to the power of 8 
Remember we said for every ln e to the power of ln of a is equal to a. I hope you've not forgotten. So we're going to touch this 2 to the power of 8. And to do that, we are going to have 11 minus x ln of 2 e to the power of 11 minus x ln of 2 is equal to 8 ln of 2, okay? Then this 2 to the power of 8, we said we can also make it to be e to the power of ln of 2 to the power of 8. We've not changed anything. Keep simplifying this, we are going to have 11 minus x ln of 2 e to the power of 11 minus x ln of 2 is equal to 8 ln of 2. Now this 8, like we have said, multiplies the ln. So we're going to have, this will be multiplied with e to the power of 8 ln of 2. Interesting. What did you observe? You observe now that this power and this coefficient are the same. And also that this power and this coefficient are the same. So at this point, let's introduce the lambda w function to have. Lambda w function of, we have 11 minus x ln of 2 e to the power of 11 minus x ln of 2, okay, is equal to lambda w function of e8, okay, 8 ln of 2, then e to the power of 8 ln of 2. Now, at this point, this is going to give us, since the coefficient and the power are now the same, so you just take one out, okay, so this is what we have at the left side, and on the right side, you just pick one out. This is what we have. Interesting. So what do you think we should do next? We need to clear this. So you divide both sides by ln of 2. Now, when you do that, this cancels. This cancels. So you are left with 11 minus x is equal to 8. Beautiful. So what do you do next? This is giving us, this will be subtraction. So you have 11 minus 8 is equal to this will become positive x. So when you subtract this, it gives you 3. So 3 is equal to x, and it means that x is equal to 3. And that was what we said at the beginning of this tutorial. So you see that the value of x still remains 3. But I know you really learned something today. Let's know how much. And don't forget to subscribe for more tips. Click on the notification button for updates from us. Thank you for always engaging and don't forget to give this tutorial a thumbs up. Share with your friends. See you in our next class. Thank you for engaging. Bye-bye.